So for my contribution to our summer schedule on Facebook, I thought I'd try something a little different than just playing some pieces on the drum kit or other percussion instruments. And I thought I would take my sticks and go and see what other things I could find to make different sounds from. Uh, slightly inspired by the fact that we have some building work going on, so I have some scaffolding outside and all sorts of other bits and pieces, um, I just thought I'd see what music I could come up with. This also followed on quite nicely from what Mr Gosling has put on uh, on Monday of this week to do with Garage Band and recording because I chose to record my piece uh, on Garage Band and I did it very simply. I haven't been very clever with it at all. Uh, I've just used some layers and chopped bits and moved them about. Um, so if you're interested in doing stuff on Garage Band, this is an example of something quite simple you can achieve. Obviously, I'm looking at rhythms, so I've looked at building up different rhythmic patterns that go together. I've chosen to stay with me having four beats in a bar, and I've mostly used some of the basic rhythm groups you'll recognise, our cats, monkeys, armadillos, all the, all the basic crotchets, minims, semi-quavers, etc. So I guess my next task is going to be to take you on a little trip to show you the different sounds that I've decided to use. Uh, I did quite an explore out in the garden when it was gorgeously sunny, um, finding, much to my neighbour's amusement uh, and maybe a bit of annoyance, um, what different sounds that I could get from the different materials that were out there. Right, so I'm out here in my garden looking for some different sounds. Uh, as you can see, I'm next to the scaffolding at the back here, uh, just trying to uh, find some good sounds. So I've been hitting the different poles in different places, just trying to find the, oh, that one was good, uh, some different pitches. So I've got two, two different pitches there, so I'm going to use those two for um, getting my different scaffolding sound. So let's have a look at that one. Right, so I'm now down in the composting area of the garden, sounds very push, um, looking for some more sounds. So, trusty drumstick, uh, I've been looking at the different sounds on the compost bin. So here are the different sounds on the compost bin, sorry for being wobbly, I'm not very good at selfies. I think I'm going to go for this one, down on the edge here, a lovely low sound to be our kind of bass instrument for this piece. Okay, so moving back around the garden, very lucky to have one wonderful slide, uh, so I thought I'd see what noises I could find on the slide. So we've got the main, the edge part, and the middle bit. So I thought I'd use a combination of those two sounds to play my rhythmical pattern, a bit like with the scaffolding, where you've got this slightly two different pitches, but it's still quite a low sound, so just helping bump up uh, the type of pattern that was on the compost bin. Right, okay, switching around a little bit further, I've had the metal sounds of the scaffolding, I've had the sort of dead plastic sound of the compost bin, and the slightly more resonant plasticky sound of the slide. So I'm now looking at looking for a wooden sound, and I've come to my decking. So we're here, uh, trying out tip of the stick, or other end of the stick, definitely got a more solid sound there. So I'm going to go for the solid end of the stick on one of these boards and see what patterns I can come up with on that one. All 
Okay, didn't go far from the decking to find this one because I was thinking what other sounds, maybe something a bit higher pitched. Uh, and I found that hitting my door really helps. So I'm just gonna hit the side of the frame. I think that's got a really cool sound to it. Uh, I'm gonna use two sticks to make my pattern on this one and see if I can make it a bit faster. Use a few semi-quavers and stuff just to make a groovy little pattern on my garage door. Okay, so I've been hunting around for some different sounds and I've come up with a really cool sound. I'm really pleased with this one. So this is our side gate made of cast iron. And some of these really ring, especially if I play them near the bottom here, then you get a real doing doing sound, which actually could rival some of the tubular bells I've played over the years. So I'm gonna go with a doing doing. So I wasn't quite sure what to do for the last one, but I wanted something that I could play properly with the sticks uh, and that wasn't on a door that was beginning to mark my husband would go mad. Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. So I suddenly realised and looked down. So here we go. I thought, I'll use the patio. So this is a bit of drumming on the patio. So now you've seen all of my uh, my different instruments that I'll be using today. Uh, here's a chance to uh, hear the final piece and uh, let me know what you think. 